Hi, I'm Michael Jam. And I'm Michelle Jordan. And we're going to show you a movie today. No. No, we're not. We're going to show you part of a movie. Part, part of, the movie. of a movie. The trailer of a short animated film that we just made about mental health. Mm -hmm. It's called Bug Therapy. And it's about a mosquito who faints at the sight of blood. Yeah. And her name is Citronella. Yeah, she can't get a break. And it's a story of Citronella trying to get up the nerve to enter group therapy for the first time, which is kind of scary. And the group is run by- A pill bug named Dr. Pill. And Dr. Phil plays Dr. Pill. Yep. And Megan, Megan Trainer plays Citronella and Jay Leno is in it. Jay Leno and Sterling K. Brown and Tom Green. Yeah, Jay Leno is a fly who's OCD. He can't stop washing his hands. You know how they do? He, you don't know where these hands have been. And Sterling K. Brown is a stick bug who is depressed because he just wants to be seen. He feels like everyone just looks right past him. Yeah, and they do. Yeah, they do. And Tom Green uh, plays a grasshopper who's addicted to coffee. He likes it, but it makes him jumpy. And he jumps out of screen again and again. <laughs> anyway, so it's about therapy, and we hope you enjoy the uh, the first uh, the, the, first the trailer. Minute. The trailer's pretty good. And yeah. the first minute. Yeah, we can't show you the whole film because it's it's premiering at the Austin Film Festival in about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. So why did we make it? Um. Because we were just trying to be funny. We're just trying to make people laugh, and we had an idea about a mosquito who faints at the sight of blood. We had meetings all over Hollywood, all the big animation studios, DreamWorks, Sony, uh, whoever. They were like, that's hilarious. What else do you have? No we one wanted to make a movie about a mosquito. Except for us. We're the only one. And <laughs> so that... we decided, well, we know it's good. We know it's a good idea. So what if we make it ourselves? What if we make a short version yeah. to get the feature length version made? And then in the process of making the short film, you know, we needed a story for the short film. So we came up with this therapy idea and that's when it just took off. Yeah. All of a sudden, uh, all the stars were jumping on board. Um, Jessica Cruz's quotes were so helpful yes. in, in NAMI's endorsement. Uh, Megan Trainer jumped on, Do Dr. Phil Yeah, Sterling on. K. Brown is an M NAMI ambassador. Yeah. Um, Dr. Phil is of course Dr. Phil. Yeah, Jay Leno um, yeah. loves this stuff. Yeah. Um, and so, so it just became something so much more than we originally thought it was going to be, which is great because we have our own own story with mental health. Yeah, mental illness. early early in making of this film, my son had a mental breakdown, a severe mental breakdown. He was 27 years old, and he um, he thought he was God. He seriously, he was in a psych ward saying, you know, I'm God. What do you want to know? Which is very upsetting. Um, and, and now two years later, he's much better. He now thinks he's St. Peter. So it's like a 40% improvement. No, really, he's, he's very well. Thank you. To, uh, yeah. Huge thank you to a NAMI hotline worker. Yeah, the, the night uh, my son crashed and burned and was calling me on the phone like, like a crazy person. Can I say crazy? Um, we called and Michelle said, you need to call NAMI. Uh, I had, who's NAMI? Yeah. And, and I found out, um, we called the 800 number and there was a, a woman answered the phone at three in the morning and talked to me off a ledge basically. Um, so you might even be listening to this right now. If you are, thank you forever. Uh, um, but one thing that we really love about this project in general is that it has the potential to really help people talk about what's going on with them. Through the whole thing that we went through with, with Mike's son is I could not imagine having an added blanket of shame and stigma laid on you when you're already going through something that's so heartbreaking and so difficult. Right, I saw how hard it was for my son to come to terms with it and explain to people where he's been the past few months. And even I felt it, like, do I wanna tell people that? And, you know, fight the stigma, it's kind of a, a slogan, but it means so much because you know, people will walk into a cocktail party and talk about their liver or their they'll be cancer. on their crutches. Look at my knee surgery. Uh, but anything upstairs, people are embarrassed and they shouldn't be. Everybody struggles with something. Yeah. And there's no shame in asking for help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, this movie's basically a love letter to therapists and, yeah. and just trying to be funny, really. And uh, what else we got? Well, we're excited for next year's conference because we'll be able to show you the whole film. And we're bringing popcorn. And hopefully, fingers crossed, yeah. we'll be in the process of making a feature. The feature film. That's yeah. what this is up to. These people, they just want to make a feature film. 
<laughs> okay, so thank you. I hope you like the trailer, and we have another clip, which is the first minute of the film. That's all we got. Thanks. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Let's all join hands. I'm back. Got my coffee. I don't care. I love you. And I Where'd you guys meet? Let me guess. Starbucks, coffee bean, peach, piccolo latte. Okay. You know, you're really kind of clean. What? Cafe Olay, Americano, Macchiato, Dunkin' Donuts, the other Starbucks. Oh, my God! Uh, I, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome to the group. I'm Dr. Pill. Ready to share your deepest, darkest secrets? Eh, I'm out. Hey, what is our only rule? It's okay to not be okay. 